the election system of leaders is not about giving power to the people or democracy. It is about giving the foreign companies like Rhodes Company, BSAP, and other foreign entities power to interfere and steal resources from Africa. Why do they want the leader to be changed every four years or every five years? Because the kings, kings never agreed to have the resources taken. And kings were not voted by them, so they had no leverage on the kings. So what did they do? They introduced this presidential system, this uh, prime minister system, to steal resources, not to give power to the people. I don't know how many times I have to tell you. I have to tell you everything. Elections have nothing to do with empowering people. Changing a government in Africa has nothing to do with, with giving power to the people. All of these things are meant to benefit foreign corporations, which benefit in, in a multitude of ways to exploit and extract wealth from Africa for the benefit of the few in the West. It has nothing to do with giving power to the people. So what I'm saying is, if we have a leader, let's put him until he dies, if he's doing what we want. We only do elections as and when it's required. Not to have a law that says we must have elections in every 10 minutes. No, 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 no. We're wasting resources. If a leader does not, does not do what we want, that's when that's the only time we remove him. But before that, we should never, not never have regular elections. That's what I'm telling you. If you understand what I'm saying, I want to thank you.